Okay, uh, now how to represent a negative binary number. Um, and the one method, there are lots, but one method I'm going to show you is called two's complement. Odd name. Very odd name, anyway. This is called the twos complement method. Right, I'm going to use nibbles, not bytes. Just to make it simple. Okay, and also what I'd like you to do is forget about the overflow bit business, if you've seen that before, <coughs> seen that gobbit. Forget about the most significant bit being the overflow bit um, because um, we need the most significant bit to represent um, the sign bit in this case. So it works in the same principle really. The most significant bit is the sign bit. It does reduce our red maximum number to only uh, the maximum of three bits. It reduces our range um, and three bits max is <clears throat> maximum of ten, uh, seven, base ten. We need that because we need the most significant bit to signify whether it's a negative or a positive number. A one means the number is negative, a zero means positive. Now you're thinking, oh well, that's simple enough. If I wanted to represent a um, negative number, I just stick that in there, a one in there, and then um, put in my number here. Well, that may be a way in a another method, but not if you're using the twos complement method. It's slightly more complicated than that. In order to represent a negative number using two's complement, you must one flip all bits and then add one. That's it. That's the rules. To represent a negative binary number using two's complement, you First, take a positive uh, number, flip all the bits, and add 1. For example, the number 4. I want to represent that as a negative 4 in two's, uh, binary using 2's complement. So I must first of all convert it to binary, which is 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, now I'm going to flip the bits 1 0 1 1 and then add 1 <clears throat> okay here we go then 1 and 1 is 0 carry the 1 or 1 and 1 is 0 carry the 1 0 and 1 is or 1 and then we've got 1 here bearing in mind that this is now our sign bit. So what do we have then? We have uh, 1, 2, 4 and then this which is set uh, to signify that it is now minus 4. Another way of looking at it is this is minus 8 plus 4, which is minus 4. There you go. So, representing a number in two's complement. Number 1, flip or bit. Number 2, add 1. Another example. Um, I want to represent 3 as a negative number in a nibble. So convert it into binary. So that would be a one and a two. Then I'm going to flip the bits. One, one, zero, zero. Add a one. Zero and one is one. Zero and zero is zero. A one and zero is one. 1 and 0 is 1. Bearing in mind this now doesn't represent um, uh, 8, 
it represents minus 8, or the sine bit, we have minus 8 plus um, 1, 2, 4, plus 1, um, 8 equals minus 3. Simples.